Remind me what I'm doing here. Your mission is to obtain an arc tool. Using it, we can jumpstart the power systems and get the beacon back online. Scans detected signature further within this facility substation. Got it. BT, what's up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. You should avoid physical contact. Proceed forward with caution. Softball. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. It's you're gonna want to watch this. It's adorable. Okay. You don't have to like look on it in the PlayStation. You can just like yeah, check for me. Touch that face. That was my lightning. That was my lightning move. Why you take? Fine, he stay high. The 
the Marvin units, though, which are the name, which is the name of the uh, <coughs> the robots. Um, they're like one of the best parts of this, aside from BT. What are some other funny things that BT does or slash says? Uh, at one point, um, after the first time he throws you, um, you say, throw me again? Okay, same as before. And then you say, <laughs> he says something like, <laughs> negative, um, two moving objects account for different variables. And it like, says, like, odds of a successful toss is like 65% or something like that. And basically telling you, yeah, you might die. Never tell me the odds. Well, he does, and they are bad odds. That's just sad. You survive, though. Um another car. Now that was impressive, pilot. They're waiting for you back in the Oh uh, god, what else something that he does? I can't really think of anything too funny he does from this point on. Oh, there's one part where um it takes him like a minute or two, you give him a thumbs up, and then he gives you like a minute or two before he uh, gives it back. He just like looks at his hands like, wait, what? And he just keeps on looking back and forth between his hand and your hand before he gives a thumbs up. Oh, do you stay waiting with a thumbs up? No, you just give it and he just kind of looks and it's... uh. Amazing. It's hilarious. Oh, small bub. Small bub, no. BT is a very good boy, though. I like BT. Good work, Pilot Cooper. Now we can jumpstart the power to get the beacon functional. BT, poor Quay. Glad you made it back, Cooper. Just in time, too. System. All we need is some power. Pilot, the power chamber relays are offline. The ARC tool should be able to jumpstart them manually. Cooper, let's hope that ARC tool is worth all the trouble. Caution. I'll read this part. High radiation levels detected ahead. Your suit will only protect you for a limited time inside the chamber. I suggest you move quickly. I wouldn't stay in there too long unless you want to be burnt to a crisp. Okay, opening the hatch in three. Two, one, go! Um, but yeah, I can't remember too much of other stuff he does. Like, the main one that I remember is the funniest, besides the thumbs up, was, um, him saying, uh, what's it called? I am 50% in love. He's a good boy. Diagnostic complete. Power 100%. Initiate dish targeting reset. Uplink targeting module. Reset initiated. 60%. Oh dear. What just? 70%. 80%. 90%. Warning. Fault detected. Emergency shutdown. What's going on? Talk to me. Not sure. Some sort of failed thing. Captain, the uplink targeting module is offline. Oh. Right, I forgot. The, though this does lead to one of my favorite sections besides the time section where I don't have BT. No, sir. Not unless we want to send a message to the entire IMC fleet. Then the module's gonna have to be repaired manually. Pilot, this situation could use your skills. I hope you're up for another trip to hell, Cooper. You need to repair the beacon on site and get back here as fast as possible. So, oh, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Oh, it's the same thing. 
scans indicate a fallen pilot. My memory is an pilot as an exceptional fighter. Proven well during the fracture operation. What's fracture? Fracture was the code name of a major combat. So who gets who do you think would grab the arc tool? Eric? Yeah. yeah, Eric would grab it and he'd keep it as one of his main weapons. My scans detect a functioning oh, wait, here it is. Wait, here we go, is he? northeast. My analysis indicates a throw is our only option here. What is it? I can throw you across the gap. That's insane. I'm incapable of insanity. What you oh. win? He do a throw. Wind. Three knots, heading 274, range 95 meters, projectile mass 89 kilograms. Trust me. We. BTI trusted you. <laughs> I actually made myself laugh because that was like I didn't mean to fall, but that turned out funny because it's just the quick turn to BT I trusted you before eating shit and falling into the void. My analysis indicates a throw is I, that was another funny line. I don't think I heard the first time because I didn't pick that dialogue, which was the uh, "Are you insane? I am incapable of insanity." When? Also, I would like to notice that there's a cool little detail. Remember how they mentioned that the moon was shot with the uh, arc tool first as a test? Trust me. Is he? Yeah, I can see it in the background. Good throw. You're welcome, pilot. Good luck over there. Yes. That damn pilot is trying to use the beacon. End this. Oh, well, that's another weapon that um, Eric would have. The Thunderbolt. It's basically a rocket launcher that shoots a giant ball of lightning. Oh, that's a Marvin. Never mind. Um. That was cool. Cal, the, the loadout that I have right now, the Mastiff and the um, Wingman, are probably the weapons that Cal would use. Something long range, some, well, something that has a decent amount of range and a kick, and something close range. So, when you said it has a kick, do you mean like he goes actual location. kick? Why you do this? Sorry, what was that? Is it why you do this? I am an agent of chaos. I don't think that guy expected me to be a battle mage. I don't think any of these guys are expecting this happening. Honestly, the most fun dynamic in our story with the Titans is um, Eric and his and Cal and his um, Tom Bow.
I think that the dynamic between Diana and Val, Diana's mech and Val, would be funny because both, both of them basically parents. have. Yes. And, and both their kids are like little shits in their own way. Yeah. Diana in the super depressing about that, you're probably gonna hate me for comparing it with. She may, might have, she or her dad made it like that because she doesn't have a mom. Yeah. So they made it more mom. It mothers both of them though, like Henry. Henry, you too. Get away from your mech and actually feed both you and your child. I can't crack an egg, okay? <laughs> I can't crack an egg. What's that got to do with anything? I can't make you food. <laughs> My squad is dead! And it's just like. Oh. Right. Uplink targeting module detected. Check your HUD. 
Um, do you think that the industrialist would have, um, what's it called? Good. You were at the controls. Move the dish to the far right to bring um, reach. like a smaller Titan, like it's more of a suit of power armor than a Titan. Sure. So basically, in this world of Evangelion and Gundam, he's Iron Man. <laughs> oh my god, Jackson, stop. You want to know something interesting? Um, something interesting? Yeah, yeah, I guess. There has been a universe, one of the alternate universes in DC, where... Um, Bruce Band, uh, no, Bruce Band, uh, Bruce Wayne's mom and dad never died, but instead he died, and in that world his dad went on to become Batman, and his mom went insane and became the Joker. That is just ridiculous, and yes, Mom, I am talking to somebody. Does it matter? Uh, Jackson's streaming, so everybody. Gravity Star. It's a, uh, it's the grenade that is. It's probably my second favorite after, um, you know, third favorite after the Satchel Charge and um, what's it called? The Fire Star. It uh, creates like a black hole that drags all enemies towards it, and then it explodes. Sweet. It's really useful. You know Can you show it off a cliff and pull enemies towards you like that? I don't know. I haven't ever tried using it like that. I'm mostly just thrown in a big group and watched it drag enemies towards them. But the reason why I um, prefer the Fire Star and Satchel Charge is because those two are somewhat effective against robots as well. The, the uh, um, Gravity Star is not. You have to use like two or three to take down one of the robots. So it's good for people, but aside from that, no. Caution. Entering maintenance mode. Alpha to one, six web, come right. Lost some Teufel. Anti-Titan squads have arrived, requesting assistance. Oh, I forgot about the anti-Titan squad. This is actually the point where I uh, found out that, um, Reapers were wi Reapers, which if you don't remember are like the things that are about half the size of a Titan. The, I found this is where I found out that they were made for um, killing Titans. Engaging hostile infantry. Okay, how did you find that out? Because they're the main force that you fight in this anti-Titan squad. Guys! 
Secure this area before proceeding with the repairs. Hot streak sensation further. Funny, BT. You're funny. Apparently. <laughs> oh god, why? I I should go with instead of the whole I'm your partner, Contact not your friend shot. thing. I should have Contact used all the options that are like. Do I fucking sound like I'm okay? Or <laughs> because all of those have been. Gold. Like that one right now, which <laughs> your internal temperatures do not uh, indicate any change. Do you want me to investigate this hot streak? <laughs> Yeet. You could easily like put over the put over the voice, like replace BT's dialogue with the this is bitch empty yeet this fucking hurls you into a satellite which uh well I guess it's not a satellite it's a satellite dish there's a difference because one is on earth the other one is in yeah space Violet, this is Cuban Blisk. You've been listening to us, eh? You want to be a hero, yeah? Okay, keep coming at me, keep coming. If I were you, I'd stop trying so hard to be a hero. You'll live longer. Also, you're going to want to pay attention to this scene it actually gets kind of tense. And honestly had me like leaning forward in my seat because I was trying to control it, but it was a cutscene. automatically reorient itself once the new module is installed. Insert the blue. Blue. Oh, here we go. BT! Launching. Got you. Yeah. Cooper, the dish is back online. Get back here and we'll send this message to the <laughs> I told you it's <laughs> just the wait. How do I do that? <laughs> yeah, I did it. Intercept and destroy the pilot, then execute the remaining militia troops. Reapers inbound. 
Oh, Are you? I just got one shotted because a Reaper landed on me from space. From space. Yeah, the it just got so shot down at me from space. I basically got hit point blank range with a shooting star. Also, by the way, Richter, this guy I'm going to fight next, he's the guy who is trying to collect gears. Caution. Anomaly detected. Possible hostile titan. IMC ground squads. I'm looking for someone to promote. I'm also looking for someone to kill. You get to choose which one you wish to be. On the X market family. Not let you be here alive. Run and you can hide, but I won't kill you. See what you got up close to person. Would have been better than me, Kleiner Junge. Let's begin to eat yours. I don't know what language he's speaking. I think it's Russian, but I can't tell. Boss fight took me like seven tries uh, the first time I did it. Not because it was super hard, but just because I was an idiot. I recommend you disembark. But yeah, BT is super cool. And um, even when he's not being adorable or funny, he's awesome. Broadcasting data stream. Awaiting response. Here's hoping someone's still up there. This is Commander Sarah Briggs, Marauder Corps. Militia SRS. Authenticate. Commander Briggs, this is BT-7274. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Report intel to the fleet attached to the SRS unit. Solid copy. Good to hear you guys are still down there. We're receiving your data now. was killed in action. I am now linked to an acting pilot. Is he holding me like a doll? Jack Cooper. Wait a minute. Lastimosa linked you to a rifleman? Yes. He had no other options. Understood. We'll get you transferred to a fully qualified pilot. Objection. Cooper is my pilot. Our combat effectiveness rating now exceeds 90%. Request permission to retain this link. You're lucky our backs are up against the wall, BT. Permission granted. That's high praise coming from a machine, Cooper. Hmm.
Thanks to your scan data, BT is good friend. Its energy signature to Did you see that? Base right here on Typhon. We don't have much time. Let's go. Oh God. Oh wait, no, it's not that part yet. We're almost to that part, but uh, we're not there quite yet. We're not at the most annoying boss fight of the game. Even more so than the final boss. Good Marvin. Yeah, by the way, that's another thing. The North Star has uh, an ability uh, called Tether Traps, which are these two little plates puts down that um, if a Titan walks near it, anchors them to that spot. That sounds really hard. It is. versus tone and I win doesn't matter which one I am I win I'm the main character I have plot armor
The fact that I can just run inside of their shield and then slap them repeatedly with a giant sword is amazing. Seems to be having a lot of fun. Oh yeah, this is probably one of the most fun parts of the game. This all-out Titan Brawl area. Oh, and this guy has like the cheapest weapon in the game. Nice shot, Wild Cooper. We need to keep moving. Elk 4, Store 2, lock this area down. BT, Pilot Cooper, you're with me. Let's go. Watch out, IMC Titans up ahead. Go, go, go! Boys, what is the killer, Vanguard? It's weird that the thing that they made to destroy Titans isn't like a mounted rail cannon. It's this weird little like midget Titan. Good takedown, pilot. Let's keep moving. That is pretty weird. Oh my god. What's wrong? He just slapped me in the face, point blank range with a goddamn thermite grenade round. Needless to say, I died immediately.
There's a lift up ahead. Here we go. Get ready, pilot. Going up. If I had to say which that was the easy part. class was the best one, I'd probably say it's Ion, because that one's best against um, doing a good job, infantry as and far titans. As I'm you've earned your pilot certification. Finish this thing and get home. Ooh, North Star. There she is. We still have time to intercept. Right, let's see how we do with this the now. Arc. Move, move! Incoming hostiles! That was chaotic.
dying so hard. This PT? Trust me. Good luck. Welcome to the 6-4, Coop. Cooper, listen up. We can't take you to 
directly to the bridge. We'll never get past those guns. We'll drop you off at the stern and you'll have to work your way forward. Contact left. Cooper, I'm gonna get as close as I can without crashing. Time your jump. Now, go! what it is, but occasionally the um, stalkers, which are the person-sized robots, but occasionally they'll just like, um, what's it called, turn into a giant thermite grenade. I don't know. It's when I do da a damage to them, but I don't know if it's like if I hit a certain place or if I kill them in a certain way. I, I don't know. It just happens sometimes. destroyed. And that time it wasn't because I was an idiot, it's because there was so much shit flying at me.
are coming aboard. There are still anti-air cannons active on the deck of the Malta. They must be disabled from the bridge before we can approach. We're on it. Nice work, Coop. Just doing my job. <laughs> this guy. Commander Briggs, we'll also need your help. Copy that, Bear. On my way. The bridge is through that hangar over there. Any ideas? Briggs here. What do you need me to do? Close the door and keep her steady. He's not thinking. No, no. Wait a sec. Follow me. Oh, I love this joke. Roll the dice <laughs> again. Never boring. Just move your ass, Davis. Honestly, yeah, the Titans are awesome, but I think if I had the choice between getting a Titan and being a pilot, I think I'd want to be a pilot. Also, I love the uh, the jump pack and just how, like, in that whole opening credit scene, the the pipe the part where the pilot was going through and kicking everybody's ass was way cooler than when the uh, Titan was doing that. Yeah. Your fire is bulletproof. We're gonna breach the glass. Take your marks. We got by the stairs. Oh hey, this house isn't on fire anymore. Hey Coop, watch out the six four does it. Is it normally on fire? Uh hinterlands. I'm ready. Usually it was. Is where it's it's okay, I understand. I get the words you say with mouth. Commander Briggs, the Malta is ours. Copy that, 6-4. Cooper, you still have control of the bridge. Use your data knife to steer yourself right behind the Draconis. Barker, get BT back to Cooper. You got it. On my way. Hold on, Tin Man. All call signs. Clean up hostiles and rendezvous with the Draconis. This is it. Here's your Titan, Cooper. I'm done babysitting. I don't think I'm going to be headed back to the hinterlands for a while, so I'm going to grab all the shards while I'm here. Ready to transfer control to pilot. Cooper will cover you from the rear. Take the deck and get to the Draconis. Okay. Time for hell. Like, this is the worst part of the game. Viper's on station. Your journey ends here, pilot. The skies belong to me. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Tally engaging bandit.
Yes. Okay, I didn't die during that entire fight. Thank God. <laughs> Izzy, tell me when you're um done doing what you're doing, because it's from this point on that you're probably going to want to watch the whole time, because this we're we're entering the absolute final act. Of the entire game. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, the um, the campaign isn't long, but it's actually really good. Okay. done. Okay. I can wait, though. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Let's go. Jackson, if we're all really close to each other, I don't need to grab him right now, though. Okay. I can also wait. What you doing? Uh, we're getting ready to fastball, which is apparently the official name for, um, him chucking me like a football. Adjusting for wind resistance. Calculating. other guy, Viper, who is my least favorite character because of, you know, this whole thing. Um, just tackled him because I beat the boss fight and he's like, nah, no you didn't. You're approaching the arms containment unit. You ripped off one of BT's arms? Yep. Like I said, absolutely too large to carry. Dick. We must improvise. I cannot reach the Ark. Cooper, I need your help. What are you doing? Protocol 3, protect the pirate, pilot. No. <laughs> I 
just heard the secondary echo. Protect the pirate. <laughs> Blisk, your problems are not my concern. Once you have delivered the Ark as per your contract, your payment will be transferred by the IMC. Just have my money ready. I'll get you your precious cargo, you useless net. Oi, Titan! You're gonna open up and give me what I want. Voice command. Not recognized. Let me just rip it out of him. Can't risk it. The arc's unstable. Listen, hero. You have what's mine, and I want it back. Go on. Tell your Titan to open up. About what? His feelings? <sighs> Still trying to be a hero, eh? I have a lot of dosh riding on this contract, my friend. So tell your Titan, if he doesn't open up, I will shoot you in the head. Pilot in jeopardy. Ocular systems. Marginal. Not visually <laughs> acquired oh god, you're Stand such a asshole. Yeah, I... <laughs> I realize now that the way I've been playing this, he's a lot like Cal. You see him now? Functions compromised by severe crash damage. I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down, some things, some things still work in there. Now open up. I'm going to shoot your pilot in the head. You still remember numbers, don't you? I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Three. Nah. That wasn't so hard, was it? That's the problem with teams. If you don't win together, you die together. You have arms. Yeah. Oh, no. And here's my second least favorite character. This is the smart pistol, the most overpowered weapon in the entire game. Our fleet's moving in on the fold weapon. We're coming. 
It's the smart pistol. It auto locks on everything's head. Oh, not just auto locks, but the bullets home. We have one last vanguard in the racks. I'm state of court preparing it for Titanfall. Same Titan? Old paint, same data core. BT-7274, good to go. It is time to complete our mission. Cooper, I'm throwing everything I've got at the IMC, but it's not going to be enough to stop the fold weapon. I need you to get inside its control room. Commander Briggs to all battle stations. I want close fire support on Cooper and BT. Do whatever it takes. Nope, because Titans have this thing called a data core. This weapon I'm using right now, this is Legion. How many enemy titans have you just mowed through? Don't know. No BT, BT, BT. I have killed at least half a dozen. Probably more than that. Keep moving, don't let up. You lost pilot, I'll show you the way up. Target lost, fire! No, I can't take all the What's up? You first. Why are so many batteries? Those are all, the batteries drop from either the containers or from a dead Titan or Reaper. So all those batteries were once Titans. about a significant 
significant and useful in this situation. Scorch, I think, is like the worst class because not only is it uh, one that I don't know how to play at all, but also it's so annoying to fight against. Imagine how terrifying this must be for all of them. I'm not really seeing bodies, I'm just seeing a fine red mist. mist. Yep. Oh my god, there's some of them on the end of the hallway who are still shooting at me. What were they thinking? Set location to the militia planet Harmony. Initiating targeting systems. Harmony. Coordinates 264.588 recorded. You'd think they'd be smart enough to just, you know, let Run. you go. Like, I think it should be pretty obvious they're the bad guys. Because, you know. Their whole goal at the moment is destroying a planet. You have your money. Now go. My forces will take over. That time they do something. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's all yours. Keep the salvage. Who said anything about salvage? I'll do this one for free.
controlled weapon priming sequence complete. Deploying the arm. get to kill me either. Yeah, you earned this, eh? Not my problem, Marta. Should have put it in my contract. I've got other people with money to see. This one, BT. falling debris. their lives to you and to BT. Barker, set a course for home. Oh, that planet's fun. Take us home. You got it. The destruction of Typhon saved the planet Harmony. 
The militia calls this planet their headquarters. The millions of others call it home. Commander Briggs says I'll be inducted into the Marauder Corps and assigned a new Titan. After the techs wipe what's left of my neural link with BT. I don't know what that'll feel like to get assigned a new Titan. I kind of like the old one. Pilot Jack Cooper, signing off.
Titanfall 2. Just. I'll see you about that. BC. Because I, uh, you could not, obviously you couldn't see me, I didn't say anything about it, but every single time he said, trust me, I, uh, I got chills. So they left it open ended for a Titanfall 3 with um, going after Blisk or that general guy, whatever his name was. Order? No, like the guy who was like the old dude who was giving the presentation to the time facility. Also, either the people who made this game slept around a lot, or this game took forever to make, because there's like a ton of production babies. There's like probably two dozen. No, actually, that's probably like a dozen and a half. You okay? What do you mean? Production babies. That's uh, babies who were born during like the production of the game. Like staff working on it who were born. Not staff working on it who were born up. Staff who had children during the game. You okay? scenes but what's it called I mean what can you really say about that it's uh, it's very really made to be uh, the, the first game didn't get too much credit not many people liked the first game but is it you watching yeah watch Recording of you, sure. <laughs> See that? 
that. Uh -huh. You... I don't know if you know what that means. Well, if you paid attention during the time mission, very closely to what BT was saying, he said he installed a piece of his AI into our helmet so he can communicate with us throughout the two different time periods. So, what that means for Titanfall 3 if it ever exists, I don't know. was Titanfall 2. Oh no, is it? 